Seriously, are you kidding me? It's been an hour. What is up, peeps? It's Hannah Fudds. Hannah Fuda. Hannah. Hana. Fuda. Fuda. Fool. Stuff. Who cares? We got Derek Camel. Um. Takumi Fujiwara. On pole. That's not surprising. Eric Willis. Eric Monaco. Jackson Storm. Ryan Monaco. Ryan Heber. Rebecca Hawkins. Lee Reftons Jr. Rick Sakadauchi. John Hunt, Kana Matsuda, Taylor Bryan Price, Adam Lewis, James Richardson, Isaiah Monaco, Makoto Kikuchi, Hanamata Kunikita, Jeff Lewis, Hibiki Ganaha, Victor Gonzalez, Azusa Miura, Tori Hamill, Ryan Lewis, Modesto Lingerfelter, Dick Hayes, James Saunders? Probably. Nate Lawrence, David Richardson, Yuki Hagiwara, the frame rate looks like crap, Kristen Aki, Ami Fatami, John Speed, Patrick Smith, Bobby Swift, Brian Barker, Mommy Fatami, Brendan Kelly, Daniel Boylis, Jonathan Rains, Ryan Kendall, and the GOAT. So without any further hesitation, let's just let's just go. Pace car in and 7 and 77 lead us to the green at Pocono. Again. Feels like it hasn't even been a week since we've been here. And we're already back. See how bumpy the entry to turn one is if you look at the back of the field. It's quite obvious. Of course. Just run through it real quick. Let's see what we've got going on. Bit of contact with the goats and Brian Barker that could have been disastrous. Hmm. These cars are running just as close together as they were uh, a few days ago. There's quite a bit of carnage in that race. So it was quite fitting, I called it the Exalta Presents the Pocono Devolution Derby. 400? 500? I don't know. Anyways, what's happened to Derek Hamill? He's fallen back to fifth there. You see him in front of Hanamata Kunikita. Takumi Fujiwara leads the first lap of the race. But just as soon as I've said that, Eric Willis is trying to go to the inside in turn one take the lead away from him. Eric Monica looking aggressive on the inside as well. Should back up from the microphone so I'm not spitting into it. Neck and neck. Almost. Just, I don't know. Fujiwara's got a nose in front. Into turn two. It's two four Tauruses. Willis with a nose in front now. And the caution's out. What's this for? Is it? I think it's out. The goat behind the goat spun, spun, spun into the wall, and that's what, what's going on there. Uh, Daniel Volas and Yuki Hagiwa are spinning on the long pond straight. That's that's when the caution comes out. But uh, then what happens? Let me guess. He loses control. Piles into Mami Fatami, sends her into the wall, spins himself out. Yeah, that's... well then. Uh, there goes Hagiwar, I guess there wasn't too much damage. We'll take a ride on board and see what exactly happened there. Oh. Not, in, not a complete spin, as you can see. Boilers went around entirely, but uh, managed to save it right there with 
expert timing. And of course, we have the goats. Piles into Fatami. Hard into the wall on the backside. Don't think Fatami made too much contact, but more importantly, the pace car is coming out. It's only lap three now. And it's under caution. Lead cars into the pits already here. Looks like they're going to be employing a two-stop strategy. My Chevrolet SS has been delivered in real racing. The frame rate is absolutely garbage. I'm sure we'll be able to bounce back from that. Look at all those pit crew members. All 43 of them. Wow, it looks like everybody has come onto pit road. Yeah, nobody's staying out. More importantly, Fujiwara is going to beat them. You see Hawkins rushing out in front. John Hunt, Ryan Hebert, Kenna Matsuda as well. Bit of contact with Fujiwara and Wills. Wills has been spun in turn one. That's not. That's the least. That's the least. That's the last thing he wanted. And Tori Hamill made a bit of contact. Is, is he all right? Yeah, that caution's not coming out, and, well, it's not, what am I trying to say? This caution is probably going to last a lot longer as a result. Bit unfair, but, uh, yeah, that's Takumi Fujiwara into the lead. Once again. Let's see if he ever catches up to the pace car. Lights out on the pace car. Nope, they're back up again. What's going on? Oh, Oh. Wow. These two must be fe Well, no. It sure seems like it. They're feeling the goat spins it out in turn two once again. And what happens here? He's, he's trying to turn himself around, and then Mami Fatami just piles into him. Yep, yep. There goes her hood. It's been sent all the way into the infield there, and completely taking herself out as well. These two are definitely not going to be happy with each other, but more, more importantly, that's the caution prolonged. Field is cut up. Lights out on the pace car. Eric Willis has returned to second place. Is that correct? It seems to be the case. So, it's Alicia Field to the green flag. Takumi Fujiwara, Eric Willis, Rebecca Hawkins, Eric Monaco, Jackson Storm, Ryan Monaco, John Hunt, Ryan Hebert, Kenna Matsuda, and Derek Hamill. In your top ten. I believe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, and excuse me for the frame rate. I think it's improved a little bit. Wow, it's, it's actually shut up quite a bit. Everyone's still on the lead lap here, except for the Goat and Mami Futami, who appear to have retired. Green is out once again here. Car is heading to the inside. Two lines here. Fujiwara leading the field into and out of turn one. Rebecca Hawkins on Eric Willis is inside. Might be going for second there. Eric Monaco and Jackson Storm watching. Comfortably from behind, Takumi Fujiwara taking commanding lead. You can see the fewer cars there are on camera, the better the frame rates. Here's your problem. Of course, we got to show every single car either way. It's the right thing to do. Eric Willis about to ride Takumi Fujiwara's ass. He's definitely not happy about that previous incident. Not even halfway through this race. There's that. Look at how bunched up the cars are behind them. It's looking to be an interesting fight between Jackson Storm and Rebecca Hawkins for third place. I believe Hawkins crossed the line in third. Storm is looking to take that position away. He's got 
got a good chance at it as well, but uh, nope, he appears to have backed off a bit. Eric Monica fouls in behind Jackson Storm. He's followed by Ryan Monaco. And there's John Hunt, Ryan Hebert, Victor Gonzalez. Well, more importantly, Eric Monica trying to go down Jackson Storm's inside now. He's ah, he's a bit slow at a turn three. Oh, he's, he's heading into the pits. Takumi Fujiwara in as well. It's quite a bit early for him. He just pitted a few laps ago under caution. So does that put Eric Willis into the lead? Yes, it does. Still an interesting battle behind him between Rebecca Hawkins and Jackson Storm. You can't really tell who's going to do what. Wow, this is miles more interesting than the Australian Grand Prix was. Especially since Papyrus knows how to make a racetrack. Whoever made Melbourne, nah. It was a, it was a decent effort, but... Guess I should have gone with Adelaide. Adelaide's a track I used back in the day. Storm has lined himself up behind Rebecca Hawkins. And it looks like Willis is going to stay out, so... Not sure what deal is with Fujiwara pitting so late. Along with Jonathan Reigns, Tori Hamill, he's he sat in front of them, but he's miles behind the field at this point. Eric Monica as well, of course. Not sure what happened to Brian Barker, but, uh... Aliens! Aliens, ladies and gentlemen, but... What is going on there? That is strange. A few cars in the pits, as you can see. Take a look at this field here. Not much of interest to point out. Decanes has no hood. Guess that's something of interest. Eric Willis has slowed down here. I think he's going to head into the pits as well. Yes, he is. That's going to leave Ryan Heber to take the lead. I believe. Yep. He's crossed the line first. He's followed by Derek Hamill. Yes, this is definitely more exciting than the Australian Grand Prix. I'm just going to keep pooping on it for now. Let's see. So behind him is, of course, Derek Hamill, Adam Lewis, Jeff Lewis. Taylor Bryan Price, James Saunders, Modesto Lingerfelter, Hibiki Ganaha, and... Can't say that name for, for the life of me, my days. It's not that hard. That's what she said, by the way. I'm sorry, but I had to put that in there. Hebert's slowing down a bit significantly, I'd say. Maybe, yep. He's going to dive into the pits here. There he goes. These guys to follow him as well. Taylor Bryan Price to stay out. That puts him into the lead. Lots of lead changes today. We have no idea where the likes of Takumi Fujiwara and, and Eric Monaco have gone. Eric Willis for that matter as well. Yep, that's Taylor Bryan Price into the lead. He does have yet to pit again, if I'm correct, so... Should be seeing him in here any second now. Wait, didn't... Didn't the GOAT win this race because of... All these pit stops? Why do he keep spinning out? Did he just forget? How to control his car on his track? Well, maybe he was running a crappier setup. I don't know. Brian Price to dive into the pits. Let's see who's behind him. Brian Barker, but uh, I believe he's lapped. Yeah, he's lapped. Here's Eric Monaco. You see Takumi Fujiwara and Rebecca Hawkins in the background. Jackson Storm as well, I believe. So, is this going to be Eric Monaco to the lead? Very possible. Brendan Kelly, Dale Voilas, Taylor Bryan Price in the pits. 
Come on, Brian Price, you gotta go faster than that. So yes, Eric Mono crosses the line second, but I believe Taylor Brian Price's pit stall is in front of the finish line. So it's Eric Monaco into the lead again. He could go for two wins in a row. That's very likely. Stake out a commanding lead over Rebecca Hawkins, who I believe took second from Takumi Fujiwara. See Jackson Storm, Ryan Monaco, Victor Gonzalez, John Hunt, Isaiah Monaco, David Richardson, and John Speed in your top ten. John Speed running the 2002 scheme. I believe. Forgot to mention that. <coughs> Ryan Hebert, Tommy Fatami, Kenna Matsuda, Makoto Kikuchi, well, I have no problem saying that though. Derek Hamill, Adam Lewis, Nate Lawrence, Jeff Lewis, James Saunders, Tristan Aki, Tori Hamill, Jonathan Reigns, Modesto Lingerfeld, Lee Refkins Jr., Eric Willis has fallen back considerably, Bobby Swift, these guys of note. I believe Jonathan Reigns has fallen back and is going to head into the pits again. James Richardson has the better front line, <coughs> straight line speed and is going to get past Bobby Swift. Hibiki Ganaha possibly as well. Taylor Bryan Price filing in behind and Kasakurauchi said the name there. There we go. Are you happy now? You better be. When was the last time I started recording? Five minutes and 20 seconds ago. Okay then. That's 25th position. What are we doing here? So guys, you expect to be near the front of the field, but instead, Eric Monica is near the front of the field. I believe he got spun at Sonoma. That's the last time I really remember seeing him before the insert long and stupid name here, Brickyard 400. No, at the Brickyard. <coughs> 400. And oh no, Eric Monica is heading into the pits again. You see uh, Daniel Voiles and Brian Barker still there. Not sure what that's about. So, suppose that's Rebecca Hawkins into lead now. Into lead? Into lead, I don't know. Jackson Storm quite a bit behind. Victor Gonzalez, Ryan Monaco, Isaiah Monaco, John Hunt, David Richardson, Ryan Hebert, and Ami Fatami in your top ten, I suppose. One, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. No. Huh. So your top ten includes Kana Matsuda. That's very important. Detail. Brian Barker's probably gonna get lapped again. Oh no, he's not a lap down. But he's very close to being lapped. Not sure why Brennan Kelly and Daniel Willis are still in the pits. Maybe they came together or something. Somewhere. I'm not sure why there was still greens out then. Five to go at Pocono. Oh days. Or Oh no, I suppose. Haha. Ha. Banter. Eric Monica's ended up near the back of the field, purportedly. Crossing the line to start the start his uh, 16 flap. Takumi Fujiwara behind. Seriously, what happened to these guys? Clearly not having a good day. Or they're just unlucky. I don't know. Oh dear, is Hawkins going to pit as well? Yes. It was a stupid question. By the way, Brendan Kelly's back onto the track. I think he'll be able to make up enough time, though. So yeah, I can't really tell you who that puts into the lead. Maybe it's not important. I don't know. But that's Hawkins out in front of pretty much everyone else. Storm, Gonzalez, Monaco, Monaco, Richardson, I believe. You see Eric Monaco in the background, right there. And there are his two bros. It's three Monaco bros heading by. Seriously, I can't tell you who's in the lead. 
absolutely no idea. Brian Barker in the pits again. Ridiculous. So the mystery in today's day and age is who is leading this race? Is it still Hawkins? Is it Brian Price again? Is it Fujiwara, remember, wherever he might be? Probably not. Actually, no, it's Ryan Hebert. Uh, nope, he's in the pits, so we can't really say that's true. And there's there's Derek Hamill in front of him as well, so there's 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 your problem. Is it Brian Price? Seriously, I have absolutely no idea. Whatever it is, it'd be two to go for them. He or she may be. Is it Eric Monaco after all these? Was this even recording? I don't know. Really is a mystery. I'm willing to, I'm willing to put my money on Eric Monaco being in the lead. It just sounds the most believable. Unless it's Hawkins. Let's find out. To the go it's 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 Taylor Bryan Price. Okay. No, he's in the pits. Damn it. No, it's it's okay, then 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 it's Hawkins. Please don't pin on the last lap or something. Well this lap and the next one. He's gonna cross the finish line of pit. So, you know, that stuff and crap. So you know. I'm gonna stop spinning and speaking so close to the microphone and everything. I barely even know what the thing According to the sounds is, I don't know how microphones work. I'm stupid. Jordy knew that. So anyways, I guess it's Hawkins, Monaco, Storm, Gasol is Monaco, and Monaco. Good day for the Chevys. Takumi Fujiwara up to the top ten, it seems. Hmm. And a glut of cars behind them. They may not be vying for the lead. White flag out for Rebecca Hawkins at Pocono. Yes, there she there you go. She's scored as having the lead. Okay. Whew, figured it out. That's, that's fantastic. That's wonderful. Although, having said that, this race is kinda a bit too long for my taste. Tastes. 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 I'm gonna stop. I don't know. But I've been told it looks like it's going to be Hawkins to take the win today. Well deserved? Most likely. There's Brian Barker. Has he actually been lapped today? Nope, he still hasn't been. It's just a joke, Brian Barker, not being lapped at all. It seems Kelly and Boyle has both made up one lap and... Doesn't really matter. Finishing near the back of the field, it's a shame for them. That's how it goes, man. Hawkins takes the win at Pocono. I think that's the first time a Joe Gibbs car has won this this season. I believe Victor Gonzalez finished fifth at Indy yesterday. I don't know. Hawkins, Monaco, and Storm on the podium. Gonzalez, Monaco, Monaco, Fujiwara, Richardson, Hebert, Hunt, Futami. Lewis, Hamill, Lawrence, Saunders, Revkins, Jr., Matsuda, Lewis, Speed, Aki, Willis, Kikuchi, Lingerfelter, Richardson, Ganaha, Lewis, Swift, Sakadauchi, Candle, Hagiwara, Kunikita, Smith, Hamill, Aki, Mira, Haynes, Bright, Price, Brains, Barker, 39 cars, finishing the lead laps, hey, Kelly and Boyle, three laps down, and the goat for Tommy crashed under caution. I, I, is, that's the most important detail about that. More importantly, Rebecca Hawkins shows some muscle at Pocono. Told you girls can show muscle. Wikipedia calls Watkins Glen the mecca of road racing. Right there, I think I see the Kaaba right there. Maybe? Possibly? Who knows?
Oh, sorry. I think you could just see the, the obvious there. It's Takumi Fujiwara with the win. Hawkins in 16th. Wow, Lewis has a win, but it's just... When was that? I forget. It's been so long. So, these guys have 10 starts. It seems Storm is leading them. And there's Hamill. Storm up to 1483, which is slightly better than 1550-something. Still 14, 15 events to go. I think 15, 16. Let's see, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 15. That's just some math. Boom. Lawyered. Where's Saunders? 47th. 2,159 points behind. <laughs> wow. You haven't even gotten past Scott Wallace yet. That's... Hmm. <laughs> Nick Layton's still stuck in limbo. It's been Hannah Food. It's been a time and a half in honor. And I will see you in the next video. Any... 100%? Nope. Brian Kendall completing the most laps. It's strange. <laughs> <coughs> ah, sorry.